Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Today we are making a Halloween centerpiece using Dollar Tree pool noodles. In the description box below, I will add a materials list for you. You will need two pool noodles and we just took a knife and just cut the pool noodle in different lengths. Some you'll want longer, some shorter. And I also bought this little tin pail at Dollar Tree. So you could spread out your pool noodles, line them up on the floor, and duct tape them together all in a row. But my daughter was helping me and we didn't think of that first. So we just wrapped it around the pail and duct taped them all together. And the duct tape also came from Dollar Tree. So you don't want these to be perfect because this is for Halloween and you want it to be spooky so it doesn't have to be perfect but just duct tape your pool noodles together and then you'll want to cover your duct tape with some ribbon with wire and this I believe is 3.5 inch width and then you'll want to tie a bow and just go back and forth, back and forth, keeping it pinched tightly in your hand, making your loops the same size on each side, and you'll want some floral stem wire close by. Try to make sure that your pool noodles are pretty level because you'll want your little LED tea lights to sit on them and stay on them, and you won't want to glue them on because you'll want to turn them on and off at night. So that's just a thought, try to make it as level as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. They'll stay on there because, you know, it doesn't slide real easy on that pool noodle. But just try to get it as level as possible. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ours is not perfect and it really looks cute on the table. So I just cut the wire off, folded it down, and I am hot gluing my bow around the center band. And I'm just going to hold it for a little bit until it dries. And we have a silver charger that it's sitting on that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And then this is just spider webbing and it came just like this and it came with the little black spiders too. So I just wrapped it over the top of the silver charger plate. And then these eyeballs are just lightweight kind of like ping pong balls and they came from Dollar Tree. So I just spread them out along the bottom. And I just added a few spiders. You could add some spider rings if you wanted to. Now this floral pick came from Tuesday morning in the top and the flowers came from Dollar Tree. So I have two of the black roses and one of the purple, I don't remember what it's called, mums from Dollar Tree. And you'll want some crayons. Now if you have an old hot glue gun and you're not going to use it anymore or you're just going to use it for crayons then you can melt your crayons in it and you can let it drip on the top of your noodle and run down and it looks like candle wax you probably will want to wait on adding your flowers and your led tea lights until after you do your candle wax but i just wanted to see how it looked all put together. I got a little impatient, so I started putting it together before my daughter got the wax all over the pool noodles to make them look more like candles. And so just be real careful because, you know, it gets hot. So be real careful with your hot glue gun and be real careful when you cut your pool noodles. Okay guys, and this is how it looks on my dining room table. On the bottom, I added some, I believe they call it creepy cloth, the black cloth from Dollar Tree. Then I just set this silver charger plate on top of it. And I didn't add the flowers or the floral picks. Um, I didn't add any foam or anything like that. They're just sitting in that bucket. I just placed them in there like that and they stayed. And then like I said, the LED lights are not glued on. That way I can turn them on and off when I want to. But it didn't take us very long to do at all and it didn't cost much because most everything um, is from Dollar Tree except for the ribbon and for the uh, little pick in the very top. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thanks guys.